Hello friends, this video on differential equation part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 8. This is also a pretty simple question actually. You see, we have x and y component. We can easily differentiate this guy. So this guy has all uh, y component. It has to have, so this, rewrite this equation you get dx by x is equal to d by by y log y correct all x here all y here you just have to integrate this to get answer so in this case this becomes log x is equal to what is this in this case if you put log y is equal to t you get 1 by y dy is equal to dt so this becomes integration of dt by t this is nothing but log of t plus some constant so what do you get log of x is equal to log of t what is t t is nothing but log y plus some constant and that is my answer if you want we can uh, do uh, simplify a little bit more so in this case it is c right i can take c also i can take log c also i can take any values because end of the day both are constants correct so now what happen is i want to merge this guy with this guy x and c so that i can take this log out so instead of c i'll take minus log c so what happened with this is this becomes log of x plus log of c is equal to log of log y correct the beauty of this is this becomes log of xc is equal to log of log y I'll remove log both side so you get xc is equal to log of y or you get y is equal to e to the power c so this is a little more simplified version but both are same actually so instead of c you can take c you can take log c you can take plus c log c you can take plus, minus log c you can take any of these because in end of the day they are all constant but we sometimes take minus log c for example in this case because this with this my life is a little simple if you take if you have taken plus log c you will get c by x sorry x by c that is also a correct solution actually because c is anyway constant right if you take this guy also it's a correct solution because c is anyway constant so all these answers are correct but just to make my life simple or to to make my answer little uh, beautiful I am taking here minus log c. correct if you take plus log c also what you will get here is y is equal to e to the power x by c if you take plus log c if you take minus log c you are getting this guy but doesn't matter anyway c is a constant so in this case for example let's suppose in this case if c c turns out to be 5 in this case it may turn out to be 1 by 5 so for the same uh, scenario but c is constant so it doesn't matter so let's take one more example x to the power 5 divided by dx is equal to minus y to the power 5 pretty simple question so we can say that dy by y to the power 5 dy by y to the power 5 is equal to minus dx by x to the power 5 correct we solve that this become y to the power minus 4 by minus 4 is equal to x to the power minus 4 right by minus 4 you integrate this right this become this you integrate this guy you get this by this plus some constant there is a minus already here so you solve that it becomes x to the power minus 4 plus y to the power minus 4 is equal to minus 4c or anyway this becomes c only because minus 4c is c anyway so this becomes x to the power minus 4 plus y to the power minus 4 is equal to some constant k and that is my answer you can write this guy as k so that you don't get confused so I got this, I just differentiate both sides, right? I got this, 
and this is anyway constant so I wrote x to the power minus 4 plus y to the minus 4 is equal to constant. So the question say dy by d is equal to sine inverse x. Integration this. Uh, solving this is not difficult because again if you see is a first order first degree right and then uh, this guy is sine x into 1 so I can write this guy as dy is equal to sine inverse x dx. Just integrate both sides. You get y is equal to x sine inverse x plus root minus inverse x square plus c. And that is my answer. A very simple question. e to the power x tan y dx is equal to plus 1 minus e to the power x x square y dy is equal to 0. So here also we have to segregate the x and y part. So this guy is not having y. So we will divide this guy with tan y. And this guy also will divide by tan y. Same thing uh, with x. This guy doesn't need x. So we will divide by m minus to power x. And this guy also will divide by m minus to power x. Right? Tan y, tan y cancel. This guy is cancel. So what you are left with is right here. e to the power x. 1 minus e to the power minus x dx plus 6 square y dy sorry 6 square y by 10 y dy is equal to 0. That's what you get. Correct. All this is nothing but minus e to the power x 1 minus e to the power x dx is equal to 6 square y 10 y dy. Integrate with this. So in this case I take this guy as t. So if we take 1 minus e to the power minus x is equal to t, you get minus e to the power x dx as dt. So this becomes dt, dt by t integration. So this becomes log t. Let's get the about log of 1 minus e to the power x. Similarly, right hand side will say tan y, 6 square y, tan y. We can take tan y as t1. You get 6 square y dy as dt1. So this becomes dt1 by k1. That is log of t1 plus some constant. That is log of tan x. Plus since everything is log, we'll take log c here. Correct. So this is tan y actually. Since I want to merge this guy with this, Right? Let me take minus log c. I can take plus log c, minus log c also. I'm trying to find y is equal to something, right? So if this guy merge with this. So this I get log of c into 1 minus e to the power x is equal to log of tan y. Cancel both sides. So I get tan y is equal to c into 1 minus e to the power x. And that is my answer. If I would have taken plus log c, I would have got tan y is equal to 1 minus e to the power x by c. Both are same actually. Because c is anyway constant. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.